A new COVID test can detect, detect rather traces of the virus on common surfaces. The maker of that test say that you can get results within 48 hours. NBC News investigative and consumer correspondent Vicki Wynn got an exclusive look at how it works. Going up. From handrails to elevator buttons, indoors and out. Could the coronavirus be here? This new test lets non-scientists like us find out whether anyone with COVID-19 has touched or breathed on the spaces we're in. It's made by San Francisco-based company Phylogen, which gave us swabs to collect samples. And we're trying it out for the first time. We have exclusive access to show you what the Phylogen surface test is and how it works. You take a swab, dip it in the solution, and basically swab any surface that you want to test. We're doing this playground steering wheel. Just snap the top of the swab off in the sample tube, and you're done. I swabbed all over New York City in busy public spaces like the subway, coffee shops, and the grocery store. All right, we're going to see what's on this cart handle. The seatbelts, pin pad, and door handles in a taxi. Taxi door handle. And inside an Uber. Not pretty, but we got to check. Even inside a public restroom. Another good spot, the elevator. And what about these high-touch items at a restaurant? I wasn't alone. We enlisted NBC News producers from coast to coast, swabbing surfaces in five states, including hotspots California and Florida. 48 hours after shipping our samples to the lab, we got the results. All our swabs from Pennsylvania and New Jersey came back negative for coronavirus. No traces of the virus on the train, at the drugstore, or on the mail we swabbed. Not even the chair in the pharmacy waiting area. No positives in California either, where the producer swabbed a gas pump, bus seat handle, and this elevator button in an office building. But in New York, two positive hits. This grocery cart handle came back positive for SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. And this self-serve bread bin, also positive. But the worst was COVID-19 hotspot Florida. Nearly 20% of our samples from Miami, positive. It's this inside elevator. Overall, 6% of the samples that we took indoors came back positive, which is within the 5 to 20% positive rate predicted by the company. We shared our results with epidemiologist Dr. Tista Ghosh. Is it reassuring for the public to know that maybe coronavirus isn't in all the places that they thought it might be? Absolutely. It's reassuring to know that some of our prevention measures are working and that we're not seeing coronavirus in places like the mail or on certain public restrooms. While I'm definitely surprised by that, I think that's good news. What are the limitations of a positive result? Well, the limitations are that you really don't know how much of the virus is there and you don't know if it's dead or alive. So you don't know if it can actually infect somebody or not. Phylogen co-founder and indoor microbiology expert Jessica Green says the tests are useful for businesses to monitor indoor exposure to COVID-19. The real power lies knowing whether or not you have infected people that are asymptomatic, that are shedding the virus in closed indoor spaces. Like a school or a nursing home? Yes, this uh, type of test could be used in schools, in nursing homes, hotels, restaurants. She says if you regularly swab a school or an office and see a sudden spike in positives, it can mean people there are infected, even if they're not showing symptoms. And that's really valuable information if you want to curb the spread of the pandemic. Vicki joins me live now. And first of all, Vicki, I just have to say props to you. I just watched you walk into every place in New York City that I am afraid to go back to. The bathroom, the subway, you are so brave. Thank you for doing that. Uh, could you talk to us a little bit about the results? Were there things there or things that you found that surprised you? Yeah, definitely. And I think this is reassuring. I'm glad to hear that you're saying these are places that you avoided. But look, we were wearing masks. We don't normally wear gloves. I don't when I'm out in public, but we wore gloves because we wanted to make sure the samples were not contaminated. And the fact that we didn't get more positives in some of those high touch public areas, we're talking public transit, the door handles to popular coffee shops, places that hundreds, if not thousands of people touch, those all came back negative. 
negative. So that was reassuring. I want people to know, look, with the coronavirus, if you are worried or paranoid that it's lurking everywhere, that not that's not really the case. But it was alarming to see that 20 percent of our samples in Miami did come back positive. That really is on par with yeah. the, the fact that we're seeing it's a hot spot there. And you're talking about a restaurant tablecloth, an ATM, an elevator button and a garbage chute. So what does that tell you when you get a positive result? You don't know if it's infectious, but what you do know is someone who was sick, who was shedding the virus, was in that area. And that also, it's not being cleaned well enough to remove the virus. So it is really valuable information in context. And we should reiterate, this is not a scientific study. It's not a scientific experience experiment. Right. This was a small sample, but we went to five states and we took about 100 samples. So it's a good snapshot of what this test can do. Let me tell you, Vicky, this morning, I was just thinking, maybe I'm going to get up the courage and I'm going to start going to the, back to the grocery store and stop sending my husband. I saw that bread and I saw the handle of that cart. And I said, nope, he can see, keep going. I'm going to stay <laughs> home. Let me ask you this. You were able to swab those surfaces uh, and see that evidence. If someone used this on themselves, on, on their bodies, would you be able to get a result too? You know, that's a really good question. I have one of the swabs right here, and it's really, these are not designed for human use, so I really want to be sure that we are cautioning people. This environmental surface testing, while it uses PCR technology, and it may look like the swabs that are going into people's nasal cavities, it is not designed yeah. for human use. But what I can tell you is, look, let's say you live in an apartment with just a roommate or by yourself, and neither of you has been... Um, in or out too often, or you haven't had people in there. If you were to swab some of the surfaces, like a mirror or places that you might not normally wipe down, if that came back positive for coronavirus, that would tell you someone who was sick has been in your apartment. It could be you, and you may have been asymptomatic. So that's what this kind of environmental surface testing can be used for in a school, in an office, in a big indoor space where you can't possibly clean every surface and you have a lot of workers or students coming in and out. It gives you an idea. Were sick people here? Are we seeing a spike in cases? Could this be the start of a potential outbreak? But no, you should not buy this. To, uh, to use on yourself. You should go to your county health department or your doctor to get an actual PCR test designed for humans. And by the way, these aren't cheap. A pack of 10 costs 400 bucks. Oh, wow, not cheap at all. I was just thinking, oh, I'd love to swab my house. Might pass on that one. Uh, Vicki, again, thank you so much. You went to so many places that I'm sure people cringed when they saw you going in there. I know you had a mask and gloves, but thanks for being brave and thanks for the great reporting. Of course, and a lot of hand washing, always wear your mask. Honestly, that is what's going to be all of our best defense. So important, Vicki, thank you. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.